adventures of what height is my tripod going to be today. So today is Vlogmas Day 17? Hey, look at me. I'm actually keeping track of, you know, the days of the weeks and stuff. Which makes it Vastmas Day 6. If you can't remember, look up the thing. Yes, Day 6. I am very much together today. Today has been a big ball of not getting a whole lot of stuff done. Insomnia is a thing that habitually plagues me. I, I have never been a good sleeper. I have had insomnia my entire life. Like, I remember being 3, 4, and 5 and having insomnia. So, you know, it's good to know that I'm consistent. But I had a, a kind of a... But I kind of had a bad bout of it last night. Not a great, not like a horrifically bad bout, but it was not a, not, not a good bout. Is there such a thing as a good bout of insomnia? But it was a relatively productive bout of insomnia. I, I, I categorized my insomnia as productive and unproductive, and it was a semi-productive insomnia. I, 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 I did some digital scribbling and I did some weird photography because I, I enjoy my pixel art sometimes. I like to over-process -pro photos. My photography instructors loved me. So t today was having, you know, a nap, and there was, like, going to the grocer, which is, which is adulting and productive, but is not adulting or productive on things that I want to be adulting and productive on. Also, there's the fact that I need to send out the, the, the obligatory familial holiday cards this like tomorrow and I also okay that doesn't make any sense if you don't know this I have one nephew and Gnome has two nephews so together we have three nephews and all of them they're varying in ages it's like my, mine is eight going on about 25 and gnomes are are 12 and 16. I don't know how the eldest one got to 16. I just don't. So that's fun. But they're all showing interest in, in comic books and because the MCU is, you know, oversaturated the consciousness, but also because they are tiny nerds. So I, I'm, I'm sending them digital comics because I am that person. But yes, the Wednesday Club has been very helpful for this. Not that I wasn't a comics reader before, because I, 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 I have been and I am, and I used to do that for a living for a while. And this is me just like wandering around the subject of vastness today. The reason for that is a very strange one. I am a firm believer in fa fandom products. When I was working on my PhD, my specialization was actually participatory culture, which is the fancy academic way of saying fandom. My first published article ever, no, my set, <laughs> my, my second published article ever, because I, I did publish an article as an undergraduate, was about the, the fandom extension of language from the Buffy verse, so Slayer speak or Buffy speak, depending on who you talk to, and how that affected and changed and informed the writing of fandom producers and other fandoms. And it was long enough ago where you still had to do the let me create for you a history of what fandom is and that basically everything you love is fandom. So the reason why this is weird is I realized that Vast isn't something that I read fanfic for. And not because it doesn't exist, because it does if nothing else, Anne's been writing it. But be because the reasons why I read fanfic are usually because of intense slippage points in a text, or, you know, gaping holes that you can drive a Mack truck through. Things and peoples and places that don't feel properly explored, that ha don't feel developed. You know, the, the, the reasons why we write things, because we're trying to better understand, because we're trying to give them the lives that they deserve. And that, that's a realization I had, that the, the, the fandoms that I'm drawn to for, for, for fic are almost always communities in which we're dealing with texts that are just egregiously whole-riddled. And Vast is not one of those. 
And I don't think it's because it's a live stream. I mean, I, 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 I have on occasion read like crit roll fanfic. It's not a thing that I go, yes, I must do the thing. But every now and again, there is the, okay, let's go do the thing. <laughs> but Vast has never been something where I've been like, yes, I must read the fanfic now because I'm having trauma that isn't being addressed. Or there are holes in the characters that, it's such a weird visual image I have in my head, <laughs> are, are rubbing my, my, my mind the wrong way. Vast is one of those texts, and I don't know if it's because it's a combination of live streaming and just really, really good RPing, or just that most of the time Jackson gives slash encourages these aside moments that fill in these gaps. But Vast never feels like it has holes in it for me. Now, in saying that, <laughs> there, there are two things that are fan fiction -y adjacent that I do habitually read, pay attention to thing in Vast, and that is the Takaz Arm Twitter and the Chrome AI Twitter. And I think both of those are because they are places where there is slippage and there is holes. It's like, we don't know what happened with Chrome. He, he, he just buggered off into the cosmos. And it's like, but our, 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 our baby Skynet is loose in the world, we must know. Or loose in the cosmos. And Takaz Arm, because we don't get enough of, to, of the Arm's personality. We don't get enough of its conversation and it and to cause I don't want to say codependency but you know when it's your arm and it doesn't function without you and you kind of you know have it as a necessity there is a certain amount of of codependency going on so those are like the only real places that I have a mighty need I also have a mighty need with Hans and, and, and Syra to an extent though though the, the wrap up of Syra's story arc when Caitlyn had to leave was was really complete like there was a projection of what Syrah's future was going to look like and I don't think I ever realized that I needed more Kyra in my life too wow okay so maybe I haven't been self-reflective enough with my my fanfiction needs when it comes to vast I should fix that <laughs> p for a update I mean the the donating still goes until Tuesday I think I think that's what they said. I don't know if the perks still function until then. And I honestly don't remember if the voting still goes, but go to projectforawesome.com and find out. If you can donate, donate. It's never too late. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do the thing. I'm going to edit, maybe watch something holiday adjacent. I I'm kind of feeling Stingiest Man in Town. Which if you've never seen the Rankin Bass Stingiest Man in Town, love yourself and do that. I I'm a big fan of ghost stories every time of the year and ghost stories for Christmas are even better and Rankin Bass doing a ghost story for Christmas and saying it's a ghost story for Christmas and then having the entire thing narrated by a humbug is brilliant and it's literally one of my favorite holiday movies of all time that and the life and adventures of Santa Claus which is adapt which is a Rankin Bass thing uh, so stop motion claymation animation thing been adapted from a Frank Baum book of the same name you know the guy who wrote Wizard of Oz and is literally the most pagan Christmas story you're ever gonna find I mean there are dragons in it and you know ogres and basically Kiernanos walking around with an axe killing things it is super bizarre and it's perfect and I'm gonna go <laughs> Watch the things, love yourselves, be nice to each other, do the right thing, courage.